My name is Steve Royce. I'm a Mass Spec product specialist up in the Boston area for Agilent, and we're going to talk about is oh, I hit the wrong button right away. How's my good start? Uh, is the chip technology that is a um, offshoot of uh, our HP uh, intellectual property around inkjet cartridges, where we use Dupont Kapton polyimid laser bladed to form channels, and that was our first microfluidic device. We've adapted that to a multi-layered uh, replacement essentially for all of the um, difficult parts of doing nanospray LCMS. And this chip a device incorporates an enrichment column, all capillary fittings, connections, conventional 75 micron nano column, as well as valving, and nanospray uh, tip, uh, clog free. And this is all, uh, this consumable zero dead volume device is implemented uh, through the use of the HPLC chip cube, which is essentially an, uh, an ion source on the front of our mass spectrometers. And this uh, device provides very high precision of re reproducibility of um, retention time and abundance and allows for automated workflows. Many different formats are available. This is design agnostic. We laser blade the designs. We really could do pretty much any design you want. We can pack it with anything you want. Uh, off the shelf, we have a number of different uh, pre-packaged uh, chips that provide for uh, application of many different types of analytes and support different workflows. One workflow this is very handy for because of the high precision of retention time is going from biomarker discovery. Uh, in this case, we've taken five replicate injections here of immunodepleted serum that's been spiked with peroxidase digested. We move that QTOF-based data over to our Spectrum Mill MRM builder to select the MRM transition list. And then since we have that high precision of retention time, we can uh, make use of our dynamic MRM acquisition uh, software on our triple quads to uh, specify a narrow uh, time window in which dwell times are optimized automatically for the highest sensitivity of those uh, different transitions. All this data then, then can be ported out to our mass profiler professional multivariate statistical analysis software. And here you see uh, uh, from principal component analysis the difference between the different spike levels of peroxidase in this um, human serum versus the blank down here. Another workflow that we've developed on the chip technology is the uh, enrichment of phosphopeptides. And here we're using a design that was originated from Albert Heck's lab in Utre at Utrecht University where we sandwich reverse uh, titanium dioxide trap in between two reverse phase traps. And this allows us to, uh, in the case of these embryonic ki kidney cells, which were um, SEX fractionated at first, and we took one of the fractions and basically ran it through this chip. This shows you that without just doing straight uh, nanospray LCMS, you see about 84 phosphopeptides in the uh, totals in that fraction. When running it through the phosphopeptide chip, <coughs> the first uh, analysis is a flow through. Uh, virtually no phosphopeptides were found in that run. Then we hit that with a reagent and elude off the phosphopeptides from the titanium dioxide trap. And we see uh, something like over 600 phosphopeptides in that same fraction, whereas before we only saw about 84. So a great enrichment of phosphopeptides. We also have a porous graphitized carbon-based uh, glycan analysis chip does a very good job on um, in solution digested n link glycans or O-link glycans from antibodies for characterization with good isomeric separation. We've now introduced uh, and we'll be making available for sale next year a uh, Pingase F uh, immobilized uh, chip that will allow for on-chip digestion of an antibody. We start off with about 100 nanograms antibody. In six seconds, we completely cleave off all of the glycans. And then the whole process takes about 10 minutes to analyze all the N-link glycans on an antibody. And this is compared to traditional methods with uh, solution-based uh, cleavage and LC or CE fluorescence. Uh, it takes several days or by mall DMS a full day. I'll skip this, come down to the booth. We can talk more about the details. I'm going to try to get through all this. One of the really powerful things about this high resolution separation that you get with the nano spray LC is that you can separate these isomeric structures. Uh, this G2 structure here is the correct structure and is, is the normal structure, but this one here, which is an isomer, 
galact galactose isomer of this uh, particular G2 structure is immunogenic. <coughs> you can separate those out in time, and I guess the point there is that it's, they're all of exactly the same mass, so you need the separation in order to uh, uh, find those. I won't spend much time on it, but essentially we completely declycosylate the antibody in about six seconds, and it's comparable to other methods, MALDI, D-E-L-I-F. We can use the chip to uh, characterize intact antibodies with very little material. And of course, for digests, we can get very fast separation, six second wide peaks, and get very high coverages using this technology. We can also, we have an ultra high capacity chip for doing small molecules across a uh, broad range of polarities. And we can do custom chips, custom designs. We have a makeup flow chip that makes uh, negative uh, ion spray uh, very uh, stable and robust. <coughs> 